Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we will study about another type of constraint that is assertion. Assertion by meaning says to say a fact confidently. It means it should hold as it is a fact. This concept is similar to the assert functions we use in C or C++ or in any other language where we type assert and pass some condition which can only evaluate to true and false. We hope that it should be true as we think that it is a fact. But if let's say if for some reason our assumption fails, then this function should immediately stop our code and give us the line number and details as to how this fact did not hold. A little example code from the C++ where we are using assert function and hoping that user enters a value greater than or equal to zero. If for some reason user types a negative number, in our case we have entered minus two, then the program immediately stops and shows the line number and condition of the assertion which executed it to false. Same concept is applied to databases. An assertion is actually a boolean valued SQL expression that must be true at all times. If it is false with any type of modifications to databases, then these modifications will be rejected automatically. We can also temporarily off our assumption checking just like our deferred constraints. Assertions are used for business rules or constraint checking just like our tuple and attribute level constraints. It is also easy to use. We will simply create assertions with our normal queries, but it gets hard to implement them efficiently. STBMS will now check all the queries as to if they are not hurting the truthfulness of the assertion. So time cost is added. Syntax is simple. We will simply type create assertion and the name of our assertion. Our query and condition will be passed into the check function. If you want to drop or delete our assertion, then we will type drop assertion and our assertion name. Let's learn assertion from this simple example. We have taken this example from the info lab Stanford and modified it a bit. So we have three tables, student, campus and apply. Student contains information related to the students. Campus contains three attributes, which is location, number of enrolled student in the campus and its rank. Rank is actually the position of the campus among multiple campuses and one meaning the highest and 10 being the lowest. We have some constraints that is campus rank should always be equal to or less than 10. An ID in apply table is actually the ID of the student who have applied in multiple majors and decision is the status which tells us whether the student is admitted to campus or not. We have created an assertion restrict applicants which makes sure that no student with GPA less than 3 should be able to apply in top 4 campuses. Our query says that there should be no tuple which has GPA less than 3 and campus rank greater than or equal to 4. Not exist returns true if there is no such tuple and false if our subquery is able to get such tuples from the join of student campus and apply table on the basis of student ID and campus location. So any modification that is insert or update or delete which causes this or our assumption to become false, then this modification will be rejected. We have also taken another example from the book of a first course in database system. Here we have movie table with title year Zonru, name of studio who created the movie and producer certificate number who has produced the movie. Assertion makes sure that the total length of all the movies of given studio should be less than or equal to 10,000. So our assertion subquery first calculates sum of the length of movie from all studios separately and then our condition check that 10,000 should be greater than or equal to all the tuples that is movie length of all the studios. Since this should always be true, if there is any single tuple where 10,000 is less than the value, then such modification will be rejected. However, as the subquery is only referring the same relation and no other relation, should not we implement it using the tuple based constraint? We can simply add a check schema element as shown in movie table creation schema. Is not it the same? It would still work. Any change in the movie table which makes this check false will be rejected. 
still there is an issue if any tuple is deleted from the movie table then this tuple based check constraint will not be executed but as per our condition deleting any tuple will not affect our condition as deleting will only reduce the total length of movies for any studio so our condition will not be false anyway but still you should be able to understand that if condition was reversed that is we are required to write 10000 less than equal to all and so on then in this case deleting a tuple would cause your condition to become false and check will not be executed as in tuple based check are not fired on delete so your constraint will not implement accurately we need to be careful and see which can be implement implemented using assertion attribute tuple or by triggers so differences among the constraint types are discussed in last two slides we should know that a tuple level constraints can use name of the attributes of same relation in the check there is no need to use the relation name in select to where query that is if we are typing select direct from movies then we can use attribute of movies in the in asterisk place we cannot use other attributes of different relations here in tuple based checks we can use the attribute without using relation name in the from while in the attribute we can only use name of the attribute on which check is applied on the other hand assertion cannot use attribute name without specifying the relation in the from clause of the query here difference is summarized attribute based checks are written in front of the attributes and are only checked when there is any kind of insert to relation or update to the attribute while tuple based check constraints are written as schema elements maybe in the end and also fires either on insert to relation or change in any attribute of tuple while assertions are written as element of database schema as they are written separately from relations and are fired with any changes to any mentioned relation however attribute checks and tuple based checks are not fired if changes in other tables causes them to become false so they are not guaranteed to hold if you have written sub queries in their checks while assertions are guaranteed to hold even in sub queries case as they will be fired if tables mentioned in their sub queries changes